Hello ladies and gentlemen YouTube, welcome to Midget Games here, and today I'm just going to do a little quick uh, chat update on um, the new Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon stuff, and um, I'll give you guys some Pokemon Go footage here for you guys to kind of look at while I'm talking to you guys today here, uh, since I'm doing no camera on this. Um, but, kind of get my general thoughts and discussion on it, and what... Um, I think the direction that Sun and Moon is going, and um, kind of overall, just some of the thoughts in the new Pokemon. Because some of them, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of impressed with. I'm actually kind of excited with, but I also got some mixed feelings about it too. So um, we'll just start right into this here. Um, first one is the uh, Alohan Exeutor, um, and there's kind of some been some rumors how. And some, I guess, some Pokédex entries as well that kind of refer to this as well. That this is actually the true version of Executor. That this is the one that was like from the islands, and then his bulkier versions, what came mainland. Um. So, you know, people have kind of talked about this. Like, it's a grass and uh, dragon typing, if I remember correctly here, and. I, I would say I'm okay with it. Like, I'm not, like, uh, disappointed in the design at all. I mean, obviously, he's supposed to look like a palm tree of sorts, so, um, yeah, I mean, A for effort, I, I, I'll give it that. Um, I, I don't really care for its dragon typing, though. Like, Grass Dragon just does not... It, I mean, you're four times weak to ice. I mean, that's just plain and simple, and then you... You lose all advantage against fire types, so we'll see. Um, <clears throat> but the other ones I'm actually kind of more interested in discussing here: the Vulpix, Nine Tails, Sanchu, and Sand Slash. Um, the Nine Tails and Vulpix. Let's see, Vulpix got ice. Nine Tails got fairy ice. Sanchu got ice steel, and I think. Sand Slash is Ice Steel as well. Um, the Fairy Type makes sense to me with the uh, Nine Tails just because uh, it, it's kind of one of those Pokemon that's I really think should have been one of the ones that would have gotten the Fairy Type in, in the uh, Gen 6 um, when I started retyping everything for uh, X and Y. So I, it, it makes sense to me. Um... They kind of did a lot of things with the climate stuff, and that's where um, I think Pokemon should have headed in that direction in the first place, um, instead of doing Mega Evolutions. I really think that um, doing it based on regional uh, typ typographical locations would have been a better choice, and that's what they're finally kind of doing here, um, because these Pokemon technically live more in the uh, mountains, so they uh, adapted to the mountain lifestyle of uh, being higher up in the mountains of the volcanoes area, uh, where it's a little bit colder. So, I, I, I love it. I, I, I love these designs. So I'm not going to lie. Like, Ex Exitutor, and the Vulpix, Ninetales, Sansash, Sanshu. Oh, I love them. I, th I think they're going to be... Um, I can see some interesting competitive play with Sandslash, because of the ice and steel. That's not... I don't think I've seen that before. That's new. Um, Fairy Ice isn't new, I believe. I believe someone else has got it. But, at the same time, this is Nine Tails we're talking about, so the typing is going to be interesting to see how I uh, will play competitive as well. Um, going to some of the other ones now. Um, Fermentus was one of them. And Lurantis, uh, same thing. Um... You know, typical grass types for that region. I've, I mean, you got a few good grass types, and I think those are okay. Um, the one I love, I think it's uh, hilarious, is uh, Gumsus. Is that how you spell it? Gumsus? The, uh, the other evolution to the uh, Young Goose Pokemon, which looks more like Donald Trump. Like, everyone was making comparisons to his pre evolution Donald Trump, and like, this is just like. This this is this is Donald Trump. This is definitely Donald Trump. So, <laughs> um, 
um, talk over to Minior. Um, is the rock flying? Um, interesting typing. I mean, it supposedly has like what four different colors as well. I. And obviously he's making references to meteors and all that. Um, I think all the references are fine. Is I don't think the design was well done on this one. I think they could have done a lot better job uh, somehow with it. Especially since... Um, God, the, the typing's not even right, I feel like, either. If you're going to do rock, I would have done rock fairy and made it like a levitate ability. Because... A lot of the fairy lore comes from like outer space, and this has a very outer space feel to it. It just doesn't. I, I'm not. This, I'm not super disappointed. Like it's not like a bad design. So I I love it. I I think it's very cute, and I think uh, little girls and kids and boys will love it. But I don't think it's the strongest design they they could have went with there. Um, Mudbray. Um, Not, not, not much to say, but it's it's, it's, it's solid. It's not bad. Um, I like being in the mud type of deal, which it goes into other evolution. So, um, the Ori Ori Corio. Those are all fine. Um, it's kind of nice to see another electric flying for once. Holy shit! Like pom pom saw. Like that will. They may see some early competitive play just because. Um, that's not a typing you would see in a while, so it's kind of nice. Um, and it might c catch people off guard. And that's really it for the new stuff. Um, as far as the Pokemon, the the island challenges, it's it's reminding me of uh, the Orange League. If anybody who's kind of pre like first couple seasons of Pokemon. You remember that um, Ash Ketchum did go to the Orange Islands before he uh, went to Johto. Um, as kind of like a filler before the um, Gold and Silver, which is this was back in the day when um, you didn't crank out a game every two years or every other year, basically. So, um, I, I I don't know. I it's I hope they don't get rid of the gym system. Like I. This would be the first time they would completely deviate from the gym system, which, while I would love to see a change to it, 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 it I got a bad feeling it's not going to work if they do change it to the um, challenge system. Like, I don't think it will work. What what I do think might happen is they use these challenges to kind of replace um, HMs. And get rid of the HM system, which has kind of been talked about before. It's kind of something that kind of, I would almost say needs to happen because there's really, it's, there's a mechanic that was kind of interesting early in the series, but late in the series, it's kind of been like, meh, it, it's, it's not as, you gotta have an HM slave to kind of like run around and be like, hey, you're gonna be <laughs> taking care of my strengths for me today. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I hope it's more of that route than replacing the gyms. I think what the I think what I hope they are gonna do is use those challenges to get the Pokemon you can ride on, and then use those to travel to each um, island. And obviously, the first challenge would let you get a Charizard so you can fly to each island, and then. Um, like challenge two with the horse, you could use that to uh, access the gym that you can't access before. Um, Tauros to smash two rocks, get to another gym, access that way. Like I can see it playing that route. Um, yeah, I think that's I think that's what they should go. If that's the route they go. I hope they go that route. Um, I, it'll be interesting to see if you can trade the uh, Aloha Pokemon to um, either X or Y or the uh, Ruby Sapphire Redo's um, remakes, if they will do that, or if this will be considered Gen 7, and in order to play 
in the Gen 6 of the transferred to Pokebank and then back out to 7. Um, which would be interesting to see how that plays out too. Um, exactly how they um, played out with the original red, blue, yellow transferring that to Pokebank and then you can basically transfer that out. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, it'll, be, it'll be interesting to see how that works. Um, I mean, I'm excited for this game a lot. Um, I haven't done my pre-orders yet, but I mean, I'm planning to very, very soon. Um, I'm planning on probably calling around GameStops and seeing which one's going to have a pre-release event and just go, go to that one. So, more than likely, I might have to drive down a ways, go to either Ames or Des Moines to kind of go see that stuff. So, um, but yeah, this is the episode here for the hooks. So if you do like it, um, please do uh, stop a like on it. And if um, uh, you do want to see more content either like this or something like that, let me know. And please just subscribe today. I'm always appreciative of uh, every subscriber. Um, as always, guys, keep on gaming, keep on having fun, and... Let's play.